Hello, beautiful people. Um, I just want to, you know, come online after a very long while because um, I have one or two things to share with us. But um, first and foremost, I want to say that um, I missed you all. It's been a while, I know. I missed all of you and I hope you are all well. And you're doing absolutely, you know, progressive in your endeavors. And um, you are happy. <laughs> yeah, always make sure you're happy, okay? Well, I would not say I'm happy this morning. Um, but in all things, we'll give glory to God. So I just want to, you know, draw our attention to some lessons that I have learned as a human being and I want to share with you all and I hope that you also share with everyone around you, okay? It could be a new lesson to you. It may be that you already know, but I'm sure um, it's going to kind of um help you believe more on that that you already know okay will you kindly please subscribe to my youtube channel please and um like this video please and i also want to know you know what you feel in the comment section and kindly share with others okay so what i actually want to talk about is You know, surrounding Mobat's death, Imole, the light. That young man lived a life and died a death for all of us to learn from. But I'm coming from parental angle. And one thing that is clear to me is that parents should stop using their children as a retirement plan. Stop that and don't do that. You are going to push your child to an early grave and I'm sure that is not what you want no parents wants to lose a child while he's still alive nobody prays for that stop using your children as your retirement plan certainly your children will be blessings to you your children will take care of you but stop having this mentality of you depending on your children in your old age. I mean, can't you work for yourself and save for your old age? Stop it. Most people that do this, I mean, you don't even know what your children pass through to survive. To try to meet up to your expectations you don't know some of them do weird things just to meet up to your expectation i mean if you hear what they do you will be sorry you won't even be disappointed in them you will be sorry for yourself so stop using them as your retirement plan, work for yourself and save for the rainy day. So if we begin to set up this mindset, we will make things better in the future, especially for the young parents. Secondly, please, please and please stop expecting too much from your children. You don't know what goes on with them and around them. 
You don't know the pressure you're putting on them. Stop it. Stop expecting too much. Be contented with whatever they are able to provide for you. And be happy for them and bless them. Pray for them. No responsible child will have a lot and will not give the parents a lot. So pray for them to be responsible. Pray for your children. Bless them. Be happy for them. Sow good seeds, so as in words, into their lives. Stop expecting too much. You don't know what 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 he or she is passing through you don't know the burden you don't know the pressure he or she is going through wherever and for whatever the person is doing you don't even know most children don't bother their parents with you know their problems because they don't want to you know put you in a situation whereby you think too much or you worry too much about them but trust me they those children of yours, they are going through a lot. Number three, please stop comparing. Stop telling them, uh, or B came back uh, the other day and bought Mercedes Benz for the mom. Uh, uh, um, Andrew came back the other day and built a house for the father. I mean, Stop the comparison. You are putting them on the pressure. You're making them feel that they are of less value, that they are doing nothing. You are degrading them. You are denying them of their self-worth. I mean, stop it. Everyone with his or her own destiny you should be proud that you have children that work hard, children that put smiles on your face. So please, parents, as we age, learn to be content, as in contentment is a great gain. The Holy Book taught us that. Even the Bible says that a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children. So even when you're a grandfather, you are expected to be providing for your children, their children, even their children's children. That will not stop them from being a blessing to you now. But stop the comparison. It's not necessary. Not necessary in any way. Please. In my own perspective, Mobad's father contributed to his death. Yeah. He played into the hands of the enemies, and that's how they were able to get that boy down. Because he had escaped so many times until his father indirectly or directly, I do not know, became involved. I mean, the evidence is shown in his statements. I mean, your son just died. And you're being interviewed and amongst all you could say is i want to show the whole world where i am living uh, where my bad father is living uh, and my son is making money i want to show the whole world oops who cares is more bad the father's god or did he stop the father from building a befitting house? So which means the man was really angry with the poor boy. 
whatever is your family issue in fact there is a lot going on there but i don't know i am just trying to say that that boy died because the father stopped blessing him he encouraged the enemies indirectly because he expected a lot much more from the boy and he felt he was not getting that I won't say more than this but the news is everywhere and I believe you all have a good sense of judgment so I've just come to say to us all parents your children remain your children even when you're old they remain your children stop expecting too much stop using your children as retirement plan stop it stop comparing I mean that individually you're using as an example to your son or your daughter do you know what he or she does to have all of that do you know please learn to appreciate your children and God bless you all thank you for listening to me and I want to also understand how you feel in the comment section kindly subscribe to my youtube channel okay and please share with your friends bye catch you i love you all bye